Alrighty, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And then um, let me uh, go ahead and preview this music real quick. This is going to be Dance of the Demons. Uh, one hour of Japanese war drums, so... And let me double check and make sure the volume is right. I kind of need to check this real quick. Yeah, switch it in the sound. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, this this cast here was uh, somewhat hastily put together. So, and there's, and like as often happens, there's going to be a fair amount of moving parts on here. So, just get ready for some mistakes to be made. Okay, but to start with, ah, uh, I was absolutely freaking dead to the world. Um, just, I've basically been on sleep debt the past uh, two or three days. Hadn't gotten deadly squat for it, so tried doing a tried doing a stream uh, yesterday, and I was only on for like maybe an hour and a half. Um, just played a uh, Rev Two for a little bit, but uh. I'm getting really frustrated with my controller, especially my analog stick. I mean, it's making me jump when I don't want it to. Um, it's um, and now it's making me uh, it's making me do special attacks when I don't want it to. So yeah, it's getting worse. I'm really needing uh, I'm really needing to buy another another controller. The problem is, is they all cost about sixty bucks. The most I could hope for would be to like go to GameStop which is uh, right next to Walmart just go there see if they see if they have any wireless controllers for cheap but uh I was uh I was actually forced to play Dive Kick a game that only requires two buttons meaning I don't have to use an analog stick so Like, but like I said, it just had to kind of adapt to that one. Um, but and I often and I've often said this from time to time, but I'm getting really close to just saying I'm no longer streaming on my work nights. Or actually, specifically, um, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, no longer streaming on those days. But, but I've said it before. Um, I've been streaming for about five, six years now, so old habits die hard. Oh, I'm gonna take out a drink of Arizona green tea. Hold on. And then another problem reared its ugly head. After not uh, after not playing in a very long time, I decided to try to give a uh, Guild Wars 2 another go. Nope. Um, the very moment I picked a character, the game crashed just like that. It crashed immediately. And um, I had a I had to send a crash report to ArenaNet and see what they're gonna do about it. And um. Uh, I actually, I actually got rid of one of the add-on, one of my add-on. Actually, no, I only have one add-on. I, I got rid of my add-on, uh, Arc DPS. It's like a DPS meter and measures measures how much damage you're doing. Um, got rid of, got rid of that. Still didn't work. So. But otherwise, um, what I am going to go ahead and do, though, at least until I can get a new controller, is, uh, I'm, until further notice, 
I'm just gonna play uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, or I should say, I'm just gonna stream Dragon Ball Fighters. So let me go ahead and get it fired up. Just gonna do a bit of a demo here. And I, I think I have played this, or I, I have shown this before. I can't remember when though. But uh, this game, on my uh, tier list, I actually rated it as a, as a good, solid game. This, this game really surprised me. I came from playing Fantasy Strike, a game with just god-awful lore, story, and dialogue, all that. It was one of the biggest reasons why I quit that game. So, I tried to want to play another fighting game. Um, I was... I wasn't too keen on... Uh, I wasn't too keen on playing um, playing this one here because ultimately Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z is basically a kid's show. And so I, again, I was kind of skittish on, on playing it, but I figured might as well. I mean, and if I don't like it, I'll just go ahead and uh, get a refund. But uh, did, did the story mode again, I'm like, oh God, I don't want to do this. But, no, story mode turned out good. I wasn't cringing, at, or very, very rarely was I, very rarely was I cringing during story mode. You know, um, once again, I came from Fantasy Strike. Watch the uh, story mode on that, it just... No. Just no. But, uh, what other, I guess while I'm here, one thing I definitely, here, let me, one thing I definitely like about this game is that I'm in the, uh, online mode right now. This is the lobby. Um, it's 3.15 a.m. right now where I'm at. So, not that many people, but this, this whole, I mean, this whole lobby is like, it's like some of the MMOs I've played over the years. You know, RuneScape. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, you know, you know, games like them, they have, uh, they have these big hotbeds of activity, you know, like in the, in big towns and stuff like that, lots of people hanging out. Um, usually with these kind of games here, I'm used to online mode basically being a list. Just a, a list of players that are online and you can, you know, choose to fight them and stuff. Not here. And you can run around, you can... Oh, another little thing I like about this game is uh, you can watch replays. Oh, I need to double check something. Okay, it's working. You also see you can watch replays. Um, Something else I keep... Not very... Very, very few people actually do this mode, but, uh, you can also do a, a, you can do a sort of kind of party match. Um, but, uh, each, you know, you can have, uh, I think you can have up to six people, all of them controlling their own character. But like I said, I don't see very many people doing this. You know, and then, um, you can get in-game currency doing various stuff. You know, kind of like, um, kind of like Rev 2. You know, kind of like Rev 2, you can, um, you can unlock a whole bunch of stuff, different colors, different titles, and, and all that. But the main reason that I'm going, I'm going to be, I'm going back here to Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, it'll, it'll take a moment. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just got to random the rest. Don't call me the... I've had my 
feel of that future. Spirit. Shall we get started? Grandpa! <laughs> Looks like it's finally muscle. Select state! Violence! Oh, and um, and I forgot to mention too, this game has the same problem that Rev 2 does. Um, whenever I turn the external speaker on or off, it completely kills the sound in the game, so I have to restart it when I do that. But, one big thing, um, to me it's both good and bad, is uh, this game is very heavy with auto combos, like right now, I'm just I'm just hitting square. He's blocking. There we go. There we go. But yeah, I just did a full complete combo just by mashing one button, and uh, so I don't need to use the analog stick as much. So then. If I if I absolutely have to go to, if I want to get to that to to my opponent quickly, just all I gotta do is push R two. I mean, and they all move very fast across the screen too, so. I just, I could, again, I, I hardly need to use the analog stick at all. Just tap over twice on the D-pad, or tap over twice and hold, and you'll run. You know, I mean, you could, you could dash in a uh, rev too, but uh, they don't, they don't move as quick. And very well then. And I did all that just by mashing the uh, triangle button. That's for our medium attacks. But like I said, I'm. But yeah, this is the main reason why I'm just gonna go back to stream in this game. It just I don't need, I don't actually need to use the analog stick as much. Um, Rev two, in order to do a lot of the special attacks, I have to have an analog stick. So, but, but anyway, I just wanted to show that, so that this is what I'll be streaming now, again, until, until I can somehow get another controller that doesn't, that, another wireless controller, in case I forgot to mention that, but that doesn't, um, uh, that doesn't require me to pay $60 for, so... But, um, in fact, um, let me go ahead and, but, uh, 
when I first started playing this game, um, again the the story mode was act the story mode was actually watchable, so it actually kind of inspired me to fire up uh the very first season of Dragon Ball, and I'm currently at the uh, very last I I think it's the very last episode, episode 27, number one under the moon. So, I but like I said, I think this is the last episode of the season. I kind of, I kind of got, I kind of got snowballed on the last episode. It is, uh, as nitpicky as it might sound, it's, it's the uh, martial arts tournament that uh, Dragon Ball is famous for. But in this one here, um, Master Roshi and Goku, it's a final battle. I mean, they should be going all out, balls to the wall, and not fucking around, and you know, just basically lollygagging around like there is like almost no com no combat at all in this it's basically just putting on a big stage presentation so I kind of got a little pissed about that and just just uh put it on ice but but hey since uh I'm back on this game might as well go ahead and uh, finish up on it and then once I'm done with that episode chances are I might go ahead and buy season two And I think there is one other thing I wanted to show about this game. Oh, and um, a big drawback to this is, um, as you probably saw a few minutes ago, it's a team-based game. That was something. That was something else too. I mean, this game can get real animation heavy too, but fortunately, my computer can handle it. I mean, I have streamed this. I have streamed this for a while. I'd probably say like a month or two. I have very few uh, stream issues, so it my computer can handle it. So that's another good thing I like about this game. Now that I think about it, Killer Instinct kind of falls in this too. Um, Killer Instinct, statistically, my computer isn't supposed to be able to handle that game at all. But, it does. So, big time surprise there. And, um, one other thing I do need to bring up. Uh, I forgot to mention it earlier. Um... I'm hoping that I'm hoping I'm not gonna have the same problem with Guild Wars 2 that I did with RuneScape. Again, I forgot to mention this uh, uh, five or so minutes ago, but RuneScape, I played that game for six years back in the 2000s. Stopped playing for a while. Um, went back, couldn't remember my password. Um, so I, I think I, I think I emailed Jagex, you know, trying to trying to recover my account. Um, they said, yeah, no problem. All they need is my password. Well, that's, that's what I'm needing, my damn password. And I think, I think I actually did try emailing them, hey, I need my password. You know, but nothing. So, and, and unless I'm wrong, I think, um, RuneScape was legendary for having terrible customer service. So, it looks like I was on the receiving end and looks like I was on the receiving end of that and my account is basically bye bye I hope the hell uh, this, the same thing doesn't happen on Guild Wars 2 I hope my account isn't lost and gone forever so but anyway 
So, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so... And that is that. And that is that on that. Um, but hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do... I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then... Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. And bye for now.